to jobs and the economy. Joining us today, Charles Payne, star of the wildly popular Varney spin-off, <laughs> known as Making Money with Charles Payne, and Lenore Hawkins from Meritas Advisors. All right, everybody, welcome to the program. Charles, first to you. Not very good job numbers, and I pose the question, are we spiraling down towards recession? You say? We're not recession, but we're bumping along. I mean, what we're seeing is an economy that has the ability to do great things, but the president put this amazing speed bump in front of us, and this is the best we can get. Uh, so we're clinging on for dear life, uh, and it's really muscle memory that's got us to where we are. But we're losing some of that. Listen, entrepreneurship is at a low. Businesses aren't investing. That's what we're really seeing more than anything else. They're not investing in equipment, plants, and now people. Okay. Under Reagan, we had Cisco, Dell, major companies made. Now we have an app economy and a low-paying services mm. economy. That's okay. a big difference. And we have an economy where the little guy quickly gets bought by the big guy because there's so much regulation, so much taxation, they, that the yeah. little guys just That's can't compete. Yeah. And all that does, it reduces employment because when a big guy buys a little guy, you typically lay some people off. It reduces competition, so you get less pricing pressure and you don't get as much innovation. Well, they're right, lucky little, to be bought. Yeah. Often they have to shut down. They just can't, can't yeah. handle it. Exactly. Now, we often come to you for politics. And it occurs to me to ask, look, if the economy is just bumping along, as Charles said, not doing much growth, I think that's pretty bad news for Hillary because she's tied to the Obama economy. It is difficult for her. She keeps saying a lot of the same things that Obama's been saying. She's mm -hmm. following a lot of the same policies. She's not giving us anything new, which is more of the same, but apparently when she does it, it will be better. But Trump also has his series of challenges from a whole different perspective, and he's more of an unknown. Now, at least with Hillary, we do know what we're going to get to a large extent. With Trump, it's difficult to say because he comes out and he says rather outrageous things, which affront some people, and then the next day he'll say, oh, no, no, that's not exactly what I meant. So it's difficult to know exactly where he does stand, and that unpredictability is difficult for businesses. Mm, that is true. This uh, week has been a prime example of that. Uh, you know, a little wavering on the minimum wage, refinancing the debt with more debts, uh, I heard that last yeah, night yeah. in a yeah. special report. He, he said we can refinance yeah. the debt. Yeah. Really Doesn't inspiring. that mean giving really? a haircut to a haircut. people yes. who hold A technical right. default? That Treasury makes bonds. sense. And, Real and profile encouragement. You know, we always yeah. talk about when the world's on fire and our treasuries do so well because everyone in the world knows one thing for sure. They'll get paid yeah. on the U.S. Right. debt. Right. We'll the U.S. The will not yeah. default, but now we have a candidate who's saying that's an option. Okay, Real fast. Politics and the market. USA Today, article therein, says the, uh, the market will react badly to Donald Donald Trump because he's unpredictable. You agree I, with that? I, I think that we'll have a clearer vision of what his policies are, but I am concerned that I don't know what they are right now, and I thought I did a month ago. <laughs> okay. Hillary, on the other hand, same USA Today article, the market, it's better for the market with her because we know what we're going to get. We do know what we're going to get, less, less unpredictability, yeah. that's better for the future. And Trump has been so down on trade, on importing right. of products, and what he misses but is that... You are a Republican, aren't you? Yes. Um, can you see supporting Trump? It's going to be tough for me. I, I need him to clarify a lot of things for me. I'm not, I do okay. not like when he says that he wants to raise import prices when half of all of our imports go to manufacturing other products. Of course, if you don't vote for him, Hillary wins. You that do sounds like that. Paul Ryan. Talk about <laughs> tough and tougher. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs>